makes you feel so darn good. Personally, I get, you know, I get to interact with other people. Well, it makes you active in your body and your mind. I enjoy helping the members of our community and, and it makes me feel great. These volunteers are residents of Virginia Beach. I mean, they're linked to Virginia Beach. They understand and know the value of what we do and know the value of what they do. And it's, it's highly, it's a win-win for everybody, the city, the residents, and, and the people of Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach Police Explorers is a program for kids for the, from the ages of 14 to 21 who um, you know, are either interested in law enforcement and we actually have a couple explorers that are um, not, that don't want to be police officers but they want the experience, you know, maybe they want to go into the military or something like that. Basically we'll do McGruff events, so we'll have McGruff the Crime Dog come out. Uh, one of us will dress up like McGruff or we'll, um, we'll do traffic direction or We'll do events like this where we'll help out with the open houses. We get to know a lot of the police officers and get to interact with them and stuff like that. We learn a lot from them, you know, whether it's a meeting that we're in and we're learning about you know, domestic violence or something like that, or, or if we're just at an event talking, you know, they teach us little life lessons. I'm Stuart Davis. I have a 10-year volunteer with SCORE, nationwide volunteer organization. Service Corps of Retired Executives. We all have the same impression, which is we have done well, and what we're trying to do is pay back to the community and transfer our experience on to the next generation of entrepreneurs. Here I work behind the scenes. Um, I've worked as a technical director, which is basically just telling people directions on how to efficiently and smoothly um, do the show. We really are a very integral part of the aquarium. We work in all departments of the aquarium, in the office, behind the scenes, as well as the docents that are on the floor. We work in the gift store. Uh, we work at missions sometimes. Um, so we're everywhere, including stranding, including our dive team, and including the flower gill. We are approaching 900. I learn a lot. I get to wear really cool costumes. I know I am volunteering for them, but it's, it's so much fun. And I feel like I, as a person, get a lot more out of it. Because, I mean, I guess they could choose anyone, but no, I get to do it. So that's pretty big. We are utilizing information that comes out of two of our land-grant universities for Virginia, Virginia Tech and Virginia State University. And the amount of information that comes from those universities, we cannot, as one person, dispense that information to the community. So we need volunteers to help us with that. And these volunteers answer that demand in a lot of different ways. Um, we have a help desk there at the uh, Municipal Center for Agriculture. Uh, we also administer several different programs, almost 30 programs that volunteers actually maintain with, throughout the city of Virginia Beach. I'm a retired teacher and I know that schools are always looking for volunteers and one of the best things is to read to children. I have always been a volunteer. In living at Atlantic Shores, I saw a need for the people there to perhaps be with younger people. It is the most wonderful feeling to give. I think if everyone would do it, it would make the world a so much better place. Virginia Beach Volunteer um, EMS system has 10 rescue squads, and um, I'm a member of the largest rescue squad, which is the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad, sometimes called Rescue 8, or 14, we're down by the ocean front. Well, I just had some um, unexpected life changes and uh, was looking for a new direction and a friend suggested that I'd be great at the rescue squad and I said, okay, I think I would. Virginia Beach um, offers uh, training for free if you um, will give them two years of service. All 10 squads combined save the taxpayers $22 million a year 
uh, by providing the volunteer services. And we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we're always looking for volunteers and, of course, donations. It's the most rewarding thing I do believe I've ever done.